Greetings, people of the interwebs. Jake here. You were here. waiting for me to interrupt you. I was. And I didn't until Thank I did. You. Thank you. You're so kind. I That's know. Reverend Spaceman, one of the hosts of the channel. Am I? Sure. Am I not? Uh, I, what if I'm Dave? Let's not get into that right I now. I don't know. That's, I don't. That's Dave, the other co-host. Or maybe I'm Dave. Am I? Jordan's one of the other co-hosts. Hello there. Who's Jordan? Not, who's not Dave or Jordan? Jordan's no. definitely Jordan. Jordan is undoubtedly I'm Jordan. Not Dave. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not Dave. I'm not Dick. There you go. He's the best person. Yeah. yeah. He's he's the best of us. Yeah. Um, I'm the fourth best person in this room. <laughs> and only um, the best of us would say that. Yeah. Exactly. How so, humble of him. So recently, um, Warner Brothers, they were like, "Yeah, we're doing an extended cut of uh, Suicide Squad." To even the though, surprise of everyone. Even though they kept saying, "No, nah, there's not going to be an extended cut." <laughs> And then they're kind of like, yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of Which, course it is. makes sense. Um, I'm glad they're doing an extended cut. cut. Of course. Yeah. And Jared but, Leto came in there and was like, you have to do it. Probably. Yeah. Or I quit. Yeah. Uh, we all knew it was happening, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I think it was really more David Ayer saying like, but I, I think that was more because I guess at the time they weren't sure like if there was going to be an extended cut. So David Ayer was probably being political and being like, no, probably not. But DC were kind of like, we'll make more money. We're doing an yeah. extended cut. Throw that shit together. Um, like, put the scenes in there. Do whatever you got to do. I guess <laughs> did well enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I th- uh, yeah, I think it did well enough. To I where still need to watch of... that. Have any of us seen call it? it a need, <laughs> but... I have it, but I haven't watched <laughs> it yet. Physical uh, copy? Or... Yeah. It was 15 bucks, so. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah, it was on sale. Probably a Black Friday so purchase like, for me. I, yeah. might, I was like, yeah. I might as well just get it now. I haven't watched yeah. it yet, but yeah. it's... It, the, it's yeah, in the it's, stash. Yeah, it's lower on my priority list. It's not um, low. It's higher on my priority list than Game of Thrones. You knew I was gonna say that. <laughs> but I still need cop season of season one back since you're not gonna well, watch it. How long do? How much longer do we think Suicide Squad will be than BVS? Because BVS is thirty um, minutes. I think they only said it's like fifteen twenty. That's extra what I was minutes. thinking. Yeah, pretty um, much it was all about the Joker, hours. all the Joker, and a little scene here or there. Yeah. yeah. This is making, This is just for Jared Leto. Yeah. I hope everyone understands that. He doesn't have to die for us to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he's that method. Yeah, he'll just, he's probably you know, going to give up happened. method acting if they never <laughs> saw the light of day. Yeah, he's playing like, Andy Warhol now. So. Yeah. yeah. It's a good choice. perfect cast. Sure. Yeah. 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 Um, and he's in uh, Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's like... Hashtag pumped. I'd, I'd say we we'll probably already know the answer, but like... Do we think this is going to be a regular thing with all the DC movies? Yep. Yeah. If Especially they continue the to get the backlash if, they have, yeah, yes, the worst absolutely. Reception, yeah, the more reception, yeah, this goes on. What's and next, Wonder Woman? Yeah, Wonder stuff. Woman is in June. Uh, Wonder Woman might not, actually. Wonder Woman I could see turning I could around s- just for Wonder no, Woman. And then I'll hate I could see Wonder Woman yeah. getting extended, but not for the DC reasons. Yeah. Just how it might be an extra five or ten minutes. Yeah. Just oh, that yeah. they wanted to cut down for runtime, yeah. not for actual. Justice being League, I good. have no doubt we'll get an extended cut. Yeah. Because that's going to be three like, and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, Zack Snyder, we want you to cram this, you know, two four hour movies you had into one. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, do you want to have, like, Darkseid be in there, too? Like, I know we yep. said Darkseid's not going to be in it, but put Darkseid in there yeah. just to cut him out. So that way we can do a Blu-ray extended cut to get more money. Yeah. Well, I've looked at the camera once, and then, oh, there's a whole, like, subplot with him yeah. in the extended cut. Well, the angle he was looking at the camera means <laughs> so much more than yeah. him just looking at the camera to be a cameo. Yeah. Um, and maybe they'll have, like, other random, like, Lex Luthor pulls up a video of other characters. And then he dies like, to reveal his father, Brian Cranston. Yeah. <laughs> I would actually be okay with that if that's... Everyone wants that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He, he dies in prison, and then Brian Cranston is at his funeral, and yeah. he's like, hey, everybody, I'm Lex Luthor Sr. And they're kind of like, thank God! Uh, yeah, every Like, ev- <laughs> like everyone in the crowd, just everyone in the funeral just breaks characters, like, oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is what we really wanted to see. Here's the real... Yeah, or if this somebody is- just says, here's the real Lex Luthor... Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, like that's what happens is Lex, or Jesse Eisenberg is getting stabbed yeah. with a shiv like in prison. He's just like, ding, 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 just getting stabbed repeatedly. Because <laughs> that, was, that was so obnoxious and awful. Terrible miscasting. Zack Snyder should be slapped for that. Multiple times. Someone probably might have. They should have. Like, sure. they deserved it. Whoever Whoever's idea that it's, was, it's they should have been... It's weird when the toy line has a better representation of Lex Luthor than the movie. Because yeah. there is a toy, like a toy... A three pack is like Superman, Batman, and Lex Luthor in his green and purple battle armor. Well, that's probably the only way they could sell Lex Luthor toys. Is yeah, like put yeah. him in with something else because no one wants an actual yeah. Lex Luthor. His toy. solo figure's always on 
on the shelf. It's a shelf sitter. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like maybe like I've the heard the term who... shelf warmer more than shelf sitter. Yeah, there are only so it's, many yeah, members of the Eisenberg family. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, unless like you're just a hardcore guesses. collector, yeah. but I mean, even even the hardcore collectors are like, I'm gonna buy it, but I'm gonna hate myself mm-hmm. a little bit for yeah. buying this to have full collection for the. It's just gonna yeah. stay in a box. Well, it's just <laughs> that's yeah. what you have to do as a completist. It's not a yeah. display. Oh, yeah. But enough of our hatred for um, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Because uh, again, he I like him as an actor. He was just it was a terrible miscast. Yeah. Um, he should have been uh, Mark, Mark Zuckerberg was the best the and worst thing that could ever happen to him. Yeah. yeah in a way. Yeah. Um, Reflecting back six years. Yeah. And also related to DC, Wonder Woman's bisexual now in the comics. Which Woo! is not a surprise mm. to me at all. And it, I'm more surprised that people it are made surprised. Sense. Yeah. It yeah. Made it took him this me, long like, to announce really it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, because, like, I mean, like, everyone to wants to... quote Perry, water is wet. Yeah, yeah like, I feel like it was, it, it was one of those non-issue issues, but obviously because they were like, she's like, bisexual now, a we lot know, of people... They want to we know, press. but... Yeah. The, um, we know, like, but oh, we don't politically correct. really have yeah, it on paper as official. Yeah, and I mean, everyone <laughs> assumes yeah. that she just likes... to swing both ways, oh, play yeah. for both teams, comfortable with both yeah. equipment. And see, this, she grew up... This With is women. yeah. This With is only an, women. This is an example of doing that thing right. Yeah, it makes sense for the character. Yeah, and spe- making making Captain America and Bucky gay does not make sense. <laughs> no. <laughs> and speaking of that extended cut for Wonder Woman, yeah, they're good. Hey, they, yeah, if it's R rated, you know, <laughs> that's some smart marketing right yeah. there. If if, if um, they do what they're supposed to do, or right. just or just Wonder Woman and some other you know them scaring just not that there's in anything class. wrong with that at all. Oh. Yeah, they're I they're like in class it, it, about it, how it. they want to scissor each other. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that. I was trying to class this up. No, we don't do that. Scissor me timbers. <laughs> <laughs> I've that, never heard that before. <laughs> South Park. Yeah, I, I've never heard scissor me timbers before. I'm, I, I know. I'm I'm behind, behind, uh, yeah, I, I, I yeah, got that's, the reference. That's, yeah. I'm behind on South Park. That was like. I'm glad someone appreciated that was, it. That was like <laughs> back when we were in high school when South Park was at yeah. the peak of its power. But anyways, I'm, um, I'm very behind on South Park. Okay, uh, like twenty seasons. But yeah, I, I, that was like, that was one of those yeah. things where, like, when I heard about, it, I'm like, makes sense. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have no. And again, it, it, to it. like it doesn't. Re- I don't think it's one of those things where like it's going to change the character at all. I think that no, I don't even think they were so much <laughs> confirming she's bisexual. I think they're just like, yeah, it's probably po- it's, it's making her hotter. Yeah, well, I think it's one of those things where they're thinking like logically. It's like because I think. Um, uh, there's like a certain percentage of like the world's population that are you know that are either like gay, bi, or transgender or whatever. So they're like, well, if an island made up of all women, there's gonna be that small portion, maybe even larger. You know, who knows? Um, but they're kind of like, I think they're just saying that like, yeah, there's probably a good chance that she would be, I you would know, bisexual. S- I would say out of all of the DC characters, it makes the most sense for yeah. her. But I don't think it's one of those things and where Robin. like she's just gonna be yeah. like going around. Which one? <laughs> which, yeah, which one? I'll say Tim. Uh, yeah, but he's dead. Whatever. He's it's hard to keep track of which one is dead. Yeah. Yeah. They're just gonna kill all. They've all died now. Hasn't Damien died and come back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's just gonna be a thing. Yeah, they're they're the Kenny of. You haven't really lived universe. unless until you've died as yeah. Robin, or just in general until you've died in comics. Yeah. yeah. Or been sent back right. in time, but everyone thinks you're dead, and then you come back and you're still yeah. kind of dead. Yeah, yeah. At least be thought of as dead. Yeah. yeah. But the timing couldn't be more perfect for this Wonder Woman announcement, just yeah. with yeah. the world. Yeah. And yeah, maybe that was a functioning today. That it was just, like a that makes sense, and that's why there's not stunt. that's why there's uh, not a backlash. It, yeah, yeah, it really doesn't. Because like, yeah, you could. I think Marvel is mm-hmm. kind of trying to do this, just social well, justice it up, and I I've bitched about it before. I won't overdo it this time, but. Well, like I think <laughs> the way they did it again, it makes yeah, more this, sense. Again, and they're not like is... pandering; they're not like slapping you over the head. It's kind of yeah, like she's like... bisexual now. We're representing well, a, dim- a certain demographic. It was, like, yeah. it was really it presented makes in a chill type way. It's like, money. yeah, but oh, and by the way, yeah, yeah, she's bi. By the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's just... Whereas four years ago, it was they tried to make it into this big thing with like mm-hmm. Alan Scott for Green Lantern oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Astonishing X-Men, The Gay Wedding. Yeah. That, that made a, people have forgotten now. Yeah. yeah. But even just in four years, how much that has changed. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. even if they did it today, it would still have backlash, yeah. but I don't think it would be near the fact what that it would bring got. X-Men back is, yeah. Is yeah. The it just, thing? It wouldn't yeah. be near as what it is yeah. today. <laughs> so. Literally, there's a book called Death of X. Yeah. 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 
cover looks cool, but that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will not, I don't want will not be tuning in. A lot of problems yeah. with but Marvel. I, I just think that, like, Comments. yeah, that, that, and that's <laughs> one of the issues is, like, I, I get what Marvel and DC are and, and all these other companies are trying to do, but there's a right way to do it, and then there's if you're, if you're doing it, it, yeah, if you're just doing it for the sake of, like, representing that demographic, that's not the right way. Yeah. Even if your heart's in the right place, it... You're, and also, like, if you're taking, like, an already pre-existing character, like, say, if, again, like, they made Captain America and Bucky... Gay all yeah, of a sudden. It's no kind sense. of like even though there's a huge fan campaign for it. I'm in Hydra and I'm gay. Keep yeah. your keep your fan fiction to yourself. It just yeah. doesn't make sense for them to all of a sudden up and be like, Well, you know okay. what? Bucky, <laughs> that's a nice ass. Well, I'm sure they complimented each other in the gym, but yeah. Yeah. that's just how that works. They yeah. said no homo every single time. Yeah. yeah. Like fervently after every <laughs> sentence. But it's like, you know, you're kinda of trying to pump each other up. It's yeah. like, yeah. oh your pecs look so good. Yeah. <laughs> That's so totally you work yeah. a little bit harder. I'm trying, trying to get that pump, yeah. man. No yeah. homo, though. No homo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's totally fine and acceptable. Uh, we, we all do. <laughs> but like, if they just Dave, if it we just comes to the gym, fair enough. <laughs> but if it just comes he out said of nowhere, probably Jordan because he's the best person. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. yeah, And as you said, he's like Thor and Captain America combined. I, I, yeah. I do have a gym membership. Yeah. You guys are welcome, Jordan. You're always talking yeah. about it, like. Yeah. Only if you'll if you'll encourage me in the manner day of uh, demonstrating. <laughs> Come after midnight. All right. Sounds like fun. Yeah. See you've been working on those shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> give me a nice thick tissue massage. What you've got to do when you're working out, you're going to strain the muscles. You can be the, tra- you can be the trainer. Yeah. I'm all about encouragement. You always got a towel with you. Yeah. It's all about positive reinforcement. <laughs> no homo, Slight by the sexual way. harassment, <laughs> but for your self-esteem. Yeah. yeah. So if you ever need someone to motivate you. <laughs> Tweet Dave. Yeah. And also that Bucky Cap thing reminded me of not even a year ago with uh, Poe Dameron and Finn. <laughs> oh, yeah. For like a month, it was like, yeah. they're lovers. And I mean... It's like, yeah, they had a good bromance, but just because they've got chemistry. good chemistry... You, they yeah, had the twinkle in their eye, no, you, it, it can yeah. be. You can't have two male characters be friends on screen anymore without... They're yeah. called Yaoi fangirls. Yeah. Or even, everyone wants to ship them. Yeah, yeah. or even without like... the shippers coming out. Yeah. Yeah. But like, just... Yep. I but just in is. general, like, if if all of us or everyone in the world, like, just because you have good chemistry with a significant, like, female or male or whatever, that doesn't entirely mean you're good for each other. Yeah. It just means you get along well yeah. and you can converse with mm-hmm. one another. Sometimes it works. No other ship. times it doesn't. No ship. Um, well, you said two words to each other, and they were kind of in a nice tone. Oh, yeah, you guys are in love, right? Yeah, like people are like read too much into <laughs> the word. Like, is, right? and sometimes yeah, it's not even like is words. Like they'll just kind of glance and be like, they'll just glance at each other and be like, "Do you see the way they were glancing? Oh my god, they're gonna have babies!" It's yeah. like, no. It is possible for two men to have babies now. Cool. Science. Yeah, I love science. <laughs> no, and that no home <laughs> unless it is. In which case, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What, what were we either. talking about? Wonder Woman. Who knows? Wait. Before <laughs> before we move on from squad aside, suicide. Um, suicide know, squad. Squad. Yeah, it's been squad. 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 Two months. A little over two months since we saw it in theaters when it was released. Yeah. Upon sixty plus day reflection, are your opinions the same of the film? Yeah. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. For for all of its flaws, I was it depends kind of, on if you've seen it. Yeah. More than yeah. once, but I just like, just to ah, kind of it like it's I it's saw a, it twice. Oh, I I would I, give it another shot, but uh, I think I, I saw it twice, it. but it was within the same weekend, so I pretty much um, I'm the on same, the same yeah. cloud. About for the same it. week. Yeah. Deeply flawed film with tons of obvious studio interference. Yeah. 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 Like here's I like the cast. I enjoy I enjoyed it more than the mediocre seven and the performances. Magnificent Seven was a far better film. Yeah. Far better ensemble film. Yeah. But, uh, it was okay. yeah, it could have been a lot better. Well, it's like, here's the way I kind of judge it, is once Suicide Squad comes out in Blu-ray, I'm going to buy that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Whereas Batman v Superman's been out on Blu-ray for a while, and I'm kind of like, eh, eventually, well, I'll probably get it. I liked it, it better than uh, Batman v Superman. I walked out of the theater wanting a little more. Yeah. I still liked Suicide Squad as a whole, but I still walked out of the theater wanting a little more, whether it was that's just that's fair. Joker or... <laughs> More a different character or less of a character. I was just wanting a little more, and I'm yeah. hoping I can get a little more satisfied well, with we, the extended. We still have that. I demand satisfaction. With solo this man. Harley or whatever girl team movie is yeah. still, I guess, greenlit. Probably. Supposedly still in the works. 
Yeah, but I mean, like that, 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 eight coming out. there's a lot of movies. Actually coming out, yes, though, 2018. I wouldn't be opposed to like a Harley and Ivy movie. I'd say it'll probably Speaking be more. Bisexual, let's, let's <laughs> yeah. It'll it'll probably be more of like a Gotham City Sirens yeah. or like yeah. Um, yeah. Birds of Prey movie, and Harley Quinn is like the headlining character, yeah. which makes sense um, because I don't, I, mean, I don't know, I guess like the general idea. Because as I was worried about film, yeah. Harley's performance She's going the into the film and asked. seeing how good she did, I was yeah, yeah, she was. That was one of the bright like, spots. Well, again, the fact that like. Paul Dini and uh, Bruce Tim, the creators, were kind of like, yep, yeah. get on. That says a lot. Yeah. Kind of like if they brought the costume in. Yeah. yeah. Even, I I can see, after seeing it like that, yeah. I can see why it wouldn't work for the mm-hmm. full length of the yeah. movie. Yeah. But it was nice to see. And oh, yeah. Plus those Joker, Harley scenes, although we didn't get a whole lot of it, made you want more. Yeah. It felt very reminiscent of the 90s cartoon. Yeah. Which is great. Mm-hmm. But they still put a new spin on before. it. Yeah. And it has its own modern yeah. today spin to it. Mm-hmm. But it's like, if we can get 10, 15 more minutes of that, I'm definitely going to buy it. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so I guess we'll move on to... The smell of penetration. <laughs> Joker and Harley. What, I just throw things off? I'd be, will- I'd be willing to give away that... Uh, <laughs> that crime stinks film yeah. about uh, uh, a hot, you know, buff scientist <laughs> in a pink mesh tank top. To Marvel, let's uh, move on to Marvel. Played by Dolph Lundgren. Do we have to? Named Dr. Yeah, Dolph Lundgren. Well, you said scientist, okay. so I was when, thinking once, Mark Wahlberg, too. Science so rules. He will be in the movie, but yeah. I, I think Dolph Lundgren really embodies oh, yeah, the character. Yeah. I'm trying to okay, Dave, portray Dr. Dolph up. Lundgren. Dave, shut up. You like, don't tell Dave to shut up. No, once, he starts, once he starts <laughs> rambling, he never <laughs> stops. So I'm going to stop him before he really gets off. Isn't that the greatest idea for a superhero movie ever? Yeah. It's been done before. Um, it hasn't been. It's been suggested. Sugge- <laughs> whatever. It it's been, been suggested before. in an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I envy your I ability. To, sure. Um, I envy your ability to like take this off track. Like I, <laughs> okay. I, I, I strive for it. I really so they released the teaser. I the that. teaser poster it's for talent. Wolverine Three, which is it's called useless. Logan. Is what do we Logan? think? Yeah, it's just called Logan. Yeah. Sure. Well, it which, seems like they're going for an old man Logan thing, which is kind of cool. Sort but of. The past two. Well, yeah. If you're going to send them two, off, you got to do yeah. it. Like the past that. two Wolverine movies have been awful, and I have no faith in this one whatsoever. The Wolverine was not awful. It was awful. I didn't like it. <laughs> it was better. It was better. It was, it was better. Was still awful. I wouldn't say it was awful. It was. I'm awful. willing to give it another chance, though. I wouldn't have yeah. I've only seen it like once. I'll yeah, I've only seen it, it once. I uh, seen I'm it. willing to give it another chance. Like, here's... I'll see Logan. Well, like, okay, what do we think about... Everybody the, sees Logan. Yeah, gonna see it. Like, yeah. what do we think of the fact that it's called Logan rather than, like, Wolverine 3, The Reckoning, or whatever? Which like, whatever. Yeah. It's kind of distancing that's themselves. Yeah. 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 They know they have a bad reputation. Well, like, do you think that's the reason why they're doing it? Because one part of me thinks... I it think sh- it's part of it. It shows confidence... I should probably turn my phone off. Every time. Um, <laughs> but, like, I think, Pop in a way, it, it might... And I could very well be wrong, but it also, mm-hmm. in a way, might show confidence in this movie because... I feel like, yeah, obviously to people like us, comic-savvy people, that makes sense to call it Logan, but to non-comic readers or comic-savvy <laughs> people, like, even though they'll you see the... You idiots. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. people will get the idea. No, but, like, it's... it's <laughs> yeah, but it's still a thing that, like, there, you know there will still be people who will see the post and they're like, Logan, is that... what? what, what well, is he for like, these said idiots, we'll just put Wolverine <laughs> in parentheses. Yeah. Logan. But, like... Uh, and also, I think Wolverine the change his name. I think one, the title and the po- the teaser poster look has more of like an indie movie feel, which an Indiana could Jones be, movie feel, just like uh, indie. Seen uh, those now, an, yes, indie an indie movie feel, not an Indiana Jones. Um, so we're not getting Harrison Ford as Wolverine. No, Harrison Ford is the next Wolverine. Yeah. He could he could probably do an old man Wolverine just because yeah. he's a grumpy old man. So. <laughs> it looks like the photo they showed. In- it looked like his arm. I mean, you know, yeah. It and it like said Harrison. apparently uh, the little sharp. girl holding his hand is X twenty three. I don't think they've explicitly. They've, s- they've said it's someone with two claws but, instead of his three. Yeah. So they haven't been like it's X twenty three, but it's kind of like who else is it gonna be? Well, apparently he's that's my choice now anyway. because his healing factor yeah. is failing. Him. Which I think is actually a cool concept. He's basically, in constant. Um, and also, have you all seen the picture they uh, released of um, Patrick Stewart? Looks awful. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the point because he's like he's got dementia. Alive. Well, I think he's got dementia or Alzheimer's, so like he's kind of like not all there, which is kind of cool. The Professor X with dementia is something I want to see. It's terrifying. Yeah, like, because just go like watch Split in January. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I mean, 
Professor Xavier is like Same one of the most movie. powerful <laughs> telepaths in the Marvel Universe. So imagine if that guy's off his rocker, all of a sudden he's kind of like, starts thinking, because he could kill you with just his thoughts. So if he loses his mind, even in like a short spread of time... I think we'll learn that like blunt talk is what's happening in his brain. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Literal blunt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I think this... It's how he copes. Is Logan's coping with alcohol? Yeah. yeah. Goes so I think this could out. potentially be really cool if executed properly. Yeah, I'm we'll still a little... It could be. I'm, st- I'm skeptical as of right now. Like it's... They don't have a good track record. They're yeah, they not. If I'm basing uh, off the last two Wolverines. I'm basing off the last two Wolverines and the last I'm X-Men not going movie. to Vegas to put any money <laughs> yeah, on Yeah, no. There's no. been enough good X-Men movies in recent memory that I'm willing to roll a dice. And I'm still a fan two? of this last little trilogy. Yeah. They, I, 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 I like two of those movies. Yeah. I like I like all three of them. I will admit the third one is the weakest. As they said in the movie itself. Two, one, three. That's the order. Yeah. That's fair. Like first class, I think two one three the Shut best up. two one three. It's by far the best. Like first class, three. it is underrated. I love, I still like oh yeah, best. just first, a little bit more. Yeah. yeah, I bought the Road Cut. Actually, I haven't watched it. But yet. either way, it's, it's still, still the best show. trilogy of X Men. Yeah, not whether or not you like the third. Yeah, or, fair enough. Yeah, but ju- judging by the Wolverine run, that's why I'm not totally yeah. buying in yet. I, the, yeah. I would like Old Man Logan to go out, and then we introduce. Female Wolverine for the time being. Yeah. And yeah. Ten, we, ten years we can get a new up and comer yeah. to play Do Wolverine. we think they're going to kill him and then replace him a few years down Probably. the line? Or just kind of send him off in a sort of ambiguous way? I, I could see ambiguous more just I think because. Either one works to replace yeah. him. But because. I like to see a death. There, yeah. Yeah. It would kind of get. Especially since it's old man. Wolverine. Yeah. I think that would, be, yeah. that would be. That would be the best. will buy a dead Wolverine action figure. I might. <laughs> and given the fact that. You know, no, Hugh Jackman has played the character almost 20 years. Yeah. And, you know, kind of give yeah. finality for him. No, that's, that's like, crazy. If he's I, taken a character. Yeah, like, I think it's one of those things where, like, I think that would be my preferred thing, and I think that would be best to have, like, a definitive, yes, he's dead. But Fox, being <laughs> who they are, I think they'll be more ambiguous that way if maybe they, you know, maybe if they give, like, a dump truck of money to Hugh Jackman, yeah. they're like, I know you yeah. said you're done. But it's we've got a, a dump Daniel truck. Craig situation. We've, we've yeah. got a literal dump truck of money. It's all single, but I mean, it's still a lot. <laughs> it's yeah, still a lot we're of money. gonna make it rain. <laughs> um, My head he, was chopped off. I and he got that healing factor. Yeah, I say just just give him a while. Give him a little break. He'll come yeah. back. Um, yeah, that that could be another thing too. Yeah, um, just, he does actually seem to enjoy playing the role. Yeah, give him oh, yeah. a good like. But five, he has to get in insane shape to play Wolverine. Yeah, well, is he gonna be able to get back in insane shape at like fifty five? I can see it. They could, by that point, for as like good as he would. could, yeah. I mean, he point, won't look like he did. No, but as as good yeah, as you like, oh, ten like years it. off. Okay, I'll, I'll counter that. Well, like, if you look at him in X Men One compared to the Wolverine, he's he gotten in. Looks, yeah. He's gotten in better shape, actually. I mean, yeah, he got huge for words. Well, if he yeah. gets ten years off, he's not going to do the insane. You know, dieting and working. No, but he can get really fat, and then they could just like tie a bunch of strings on him, kind of in the shape of muscles. And then see the guy to make him look. But I think more another thing too, though, well, that's is that's really inauthentic, and I don't want to see that. I he w- he wouldn't necessarily. Yeah. He by, wouldn't by, necessarily... by that point, CGI uh, abdomens will have improved a lot since the neighbors. Actors Probably. won't even have to. I'm work sure out. they will. Yeah. Even though I thought that was really good, <laughs> but I don't like that at all. But I, he, I don't think he would necessarily have to. From real actors, because what, CGI? real actors are dying. But Fox clearly doesn't care about their continuity, so he but could come back as well. literally old man Logan. And yeah. They don't care because it's Fox, and I think they kept it. And in ten years, relevant. will they will any of the cast be the same? Probably not. No, no. I, I think um, they've kept no. it consistent enough since. I mean, days you of could pass. with the new yeah. Scott Summers, and yeah, seems like but I don't think that'll last for yeah. ten years. No. But I'm just saying the opportunity is yeah. there. Yeah, just I, I, I'm not. Buying don't it. don't I bring do Brian Singer back. I don't want to see a movie in the '90s because that's kind of yes. the yeah. Day. Just don't want Brian Singer. '90s Phoenix. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm Brian Singer, and I'd really rather the recast Jean Grey. I can live with it. Yeah, can, not my yeah. first choice, but I can live with it. I'm not a fan of the character in general, so I don't. Really yeah, care. That, that's an. I do like yeah, the that's the thing. She's not like and, hugely yeah. beloved. Yeah. I mean, well, she's no, got her. Can, she's got her fans. Yeah, don't get me wrong. it's all going to be about Professor Such X and Mystique, story, anyways. But, yeah. Well, I mean, which is a weird. Lawrence is gone, so is she? Yeah, really. She's hmm. she's out. Some kind of performance. She might come back, but then just. Like yeah, I, I think that was more her being political Ooh, and not being like, yeah, I'm not doing this that anymore. That said, she phoned it in the last 
the last movie when we were reviewing Apocalypse. I don't know if I've said it, but I, I would she, agree. Someone suggested it, and I agreed with them. Yeah, well. she was I asking who it was. Yeah, she was kind of owning it in. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can recast Mystique, though. Yeah. Because she's a she shapeshifter. Been done before. Yeah. <laughs> um, Just get some hot chick and yeah. paint her blue. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Um, Bluebies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else did I have? Because I actually wrote down notes this time for the you first nerd. time. I know. You prof. Uh, I did it before, but it was so something we didn't even... Spider-Man Homecoming first. wraps up production. Um, and... Somehow or another, they've, like, we've seen, like, some photo leaks, like, of Shocker. Not seen one. Not one of Michael Keaton, which I like, but at the same yeah. time, I'm like, how are they doing this with their security? I'm cool with that. Yeah. yeah. I like, I want it to be a surprise. Like, I want to see... You don't get any secrecy sets. in Hollywood anymore. Yeah. No matter if it's a Spider-Man or a little Star indie Wars. film. Like, yeah. I, I just Unless don't... you're Star Wars. Even, even, well, even, even Star Wars has yeah. been getting... But, I mean, the whole Disney... Stuff. Corporation in general, like the fact that they're able to keep as much secret. Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's very like, they amazing and impressive yeah. how they do it. Like they, have, they probably do actually have drones where, like, if you snap a picture, it shoots you. Oh, you're yeah. dead. I and thought they, they just like, confer- didn't they actually confirm they do yeah, have yeah, those they drones? Have drones? Aren't they shaped like Tie Fighters? Probably. So <laughs> imagine awesome. if someone even walks on. If yeah. someone even walks on set without them, permission, they're kind of like, like they probably like knock them out. Yeah. So. So yeah, the fact that like we haven't seen any photos at all of Michael Keaton is awesome, and I don't want to see a photo until I, f- or I want to see any of Michael Keaton Opening until at least yeah. that would be my I preference. It's not gonna happen. Like to They'll probably show him. <laughs> I prefer McConaughey. I'm the vulture. I don't even. I, this, is, this isn't even a conversation. I'm just saying that because I know you weren't on board with the McConaughey's. I actually totally am now that I've seen season one yeah. of Detective. I'm the vulture, not fly. That guy can. Act. All right. All right. <laughs> Um, or maybe they just have Michael Keaton in the vulture suit tracking people down. Like, they take a picture, Ka-ka! and just rips them apart. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Because it really works in real life. Or maybe right? or maybe he's suit. Batman from the Tim Burton movies with that really hmm. rubbery as costume. As can't even... his Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> no, turn on this... Again, this great power, great responsibility. <laughs> I would actually be okay with that. That'd be the one instance where I'd be okay with Uncle Ben again. But in this case, he kills the person instead. I imagine they're going to have some kind of little flashback. I assume it. It, so I, it probably won't be anybody big. If yeah. they're going to do it, I want them to... I honestly, if they're going to do it, and I expect them to, I want them to just Batman v Superman it. Do it in the beginning. Yeah. Get it over with. Get it out of the way. <laughs> yeah. And people will still complain about it, but, you know, that's better I, than... I wasn't yeah. sprinkling... I didn't have a problem with the BVS. I didn't either. It was short and sweet yeah. and to the point, and you knew, you knew they were going to do it. You knew they were going to do it. Yeah. Well, until they I mean, make yeah. a Flashpoint movie. That's true. And, which, if that's the case, I'm all for it. Yeah, he would make a great, Thomas like, Wayne. psycho Batman. Yeah. That's basically com- the comedian. Psycho yeah. Batman. <laughs> More or less. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it's what Doctor Manhattan was thinking when he created the DC Universe. Exactly. Really. So, Maybe. so is it more impressive that we haven't seen leaked footage of Vulture than the actual film will be? <laughs> I can hear I can hear Dave just thinking so loudly that that yes. Well, when you share our minds, yeah, because we're the same person. <laughs> apparently. Well, it, you're already at a disadvantage just with your personal preference on uh, Mr. Holland. Yeah. No, just on Mr. Holland. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to be more open when the film actually comes out, but no, I didn't like it. It's a Spidey, man. This is, this is Civil our War. bread and butter, man. But I thought you said you were more indifferent, but now you don't like, you didn't like him at all? And I'm more negative towards him. I'm trying he to be more He hated him in the Civil War review. <laughs> this is just a genuine case of daving yeah. Yeah. happening before us. Again, I thought he was doing more of, he didn't really bring anything to it. He was doing more of an Andrew Garfield impression. No, I, I don't think that the character is no, kind no, it of wasn't limited. A, it wasn't an impression. I, I don't think the character him. is kind of limited. He was embodying Spider-Man where he's got that Andrew, kind of smart-ass attitude. I don't, I don't get the Andrew Garfield impression yeah. at all. I don't know no, where you're getting it. He's doing a like vaguely Brooklyn accent. It doesn't sound like an Andrew Garfield he's, impression. He's doing a Spider-Man it's impression. It's just the mannerisms. It's the I way just, he's delivering his lines. It's Peter I, Parker. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't really didn't get Spidey. that. He wasn't. I, did, I didn't see any Andrew Garfield in his performance except for like slightly the accent and the voice. A little bit, but not, so I didn't see anything not except not for this. Enough, yeah. Not enough to make a huge difference. Yeah, and I wouldn't. Yeah, I just. I don't it just wasn't enough of him. I mean, there's plenty of them in Civil school. War, yeah. more than I thought we'd get, but yeah. there's still not and enough again, to I, judge him. Yeah, yeah. and again, I, I will say, I totally called it Quicksilver Days of Future Past. That's yeah. exactly what it was. Yeah, I said it. Should have gone to Vegas. Times. I know. 
No, we need to we need to go to Vegas and bet on this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Some of us will become rich, others will be dirt poor. Yep. So, if I make a lot of money, I'm not sharing it with any of you. I figured as much. Yeah. You have to you share did. with our sponsors. Yeah. I might share. It's just, you know, depends on what you're willing to do for me. <laughs> yeah. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> thought that was implied. You have to say it. It's never implied with me. <laughs> You've never said it. <laughs> do I have to? Only if you want. Um, so yeah, I like Michael Keaton uh, reprising his role as the Birdman. I just like Man. Michael Keaton. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, love him. I like Birdman. I like that he's had, had a. I like that he's just had kidding. a resurgence in his career. Yeah, no, I yeah. wish he was mine. But yeah, I wish I like, a lot. I wish a lot of actors were my dad. Yeah. Have a big happy family. Except they'd probably be horrible. Yeah, it actually yeah. would. <laughs> you have a lot of money though. You don't know what they're like behind closed doors. Yeah. Yeah, maybe Michael Keaton really is a Birdman. Like he has actual feathers, and just. Flies I around stalking people. That well, I never liked being Batman because yeah. it's like it's close, but yeah, it's yeah, not. it's it's I too can't. real for him. He's like, I can actually fly. Why? Why am I gliding in the stupid cake? Yeah. My permit. <laughs> well, that's when he was still ashamed because you know Hollywood was much more repressed back then. Yeah, and he shaved his wings down. Yeah, and no one really wanted him as Batman anyways because well, yeah, he was pretty much known as a comedic actor. Yeah. It's been great to see him evolve. Yeah. yeah. From Batman to Birdman yeah. to Vulture, you know he's a Pokemon. He's finally reached that yeah, final he, step. That's his, yeah, that's let's his go out and catch him. Point. Like right now, let's just go catch him. <laughs> catch Michael Keaton. Yeah. There's Keaton. no, there is no way to just go out and catch Pokemon in the real world. Yet, yet. Yeah. That's why we need to go out there yeah. right now. Figure well, out a way. I mean, it'd be great. It'd be great if, be great like if there was some kind of app like on your phone that could kind of do that. But like, imagine there's no such thing. But imagine if we caught yeah. Michael Keaton and like we could we could make <laughs> movies with him and just be like Michael Keaton. Oscar! And he'd get an Oscar. And then Pacey Poe Productions would become the most famous podcast ever. Because we'd have an Oscar. In production company. Or it'd just yeah. be like a really yeah. dark film where we're holding him hostage <laughs> in his basement. Yeah. Doesn't matter. But also, he, Oscar he's gold. Still, 90% yeah. of the movie is set inside a Pokeball. We finally <laughs> see what happens inside there. Yeah. And it's but not it's good. horrific. But yeah. it's Michael Keaton, so we'd win an Oscar. Yeah. And therefore, elevating us, we'd see more, you know... We'd have we'd have credibility. I like to think the Academy and Pasty Pale. Yeah. <laughs> Cow yeah. prodding, you know. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Standing behind him where the cameras can't see us, but you know. Yeah. But also have like a bag of like Pokemon treats that way when he, you know. Pokey snack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like so we Pokemon Center, we'd be good. Yeah. We'd, we'd be, be good players. players. <laughs> we just you know use them for a personal game, but that's Pokemon. That is, yeah. Use them for your personal yeah. game. I mean, instead and of battles, yeah. instead of battles, it's movies. But yeah. you know. Same thing, really. Like, you know, Warner Brothers are kind of like, nah, Ben Affleck's going to win for The Accountant. It's kind of like, oh, Michael Keaton's going to win for Pasty Pell Productions. We've been Michael Keaton, go! We've been EV training him for Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> and to fly. You know, fly us around to our jobs. We're definitely going to grow his wings back. Yeah. He already knows how to fly. Like, yeah. I'm, I would legitimately believe that Michael Keaton can fly and has psychic yeah. powers. Yeah. All, all joking aside. Yeah, like, no, really. Like, yeah, I you would know, believe all, he can do all it. All Illuminati Hollywood. Hollywood. Top elite, dude. Yeah, because yeah. they got their thetans cleansed. <laughs> <laughs> the what? <laughs> it's just the way the world works. It is. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, Michael it's Keaton. It's if you're listening, it's... we can do Thank it you. one of two ways. <laughs> the hard way, we come find you and catch you, or the easy way, you willingly come to us, help us out, we help you out. And if you're really yeah. cool, we won't even put you in the Pokeball. Nah, no, we yeah, will. We'll, 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 yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll let you out we'll of the first. Movie, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll have the Pokeball, but you'll be like allowed to roam free outside of it. Yeah, obviously. Relatively free. Yeah. It, I'm surprised it took us this long on this podcast to threaten to uh, kidnap a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I was just waiting we're, for the opening. We're not yeah. threatening him. We're just we're suggesting <laughs> to him. We're trying, like a, we're we're trying, need a, we need a mascot we're anyway. Yeah. like it's a bad thing. Yeah, we're, we're trying to kid, we're trying well, to I didn't say it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's, it's going to be us. a good thing for yeah. him and for and us. For us yeah. we're well, really we have they just those episodes have been banned. Yeah. Yeah, not they're aired, in, not yeah. aired yet. They're in the vaults. Still. Yeah, we're we're merely just trying to cajole a, a fine a well as, thank you. A well-established actor to just, you know, join our cause. That's all. <laughs> Get in a Pokeball. <laughs> Weed out of work. Which is not a threat. That's no, just, it's, it's, a, it's a home. They it's seem a nice to like it. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's, afterwards they like. Contribute to our Patreon page. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't have yet. But if we get Michael Keaton, you better believe we will. Yeah. So I mean, what this comes down to we is. We need money to go travel. Spider Man Homecoming is great at not releasing pictures of him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because he's been in back all full because circle. He's been in his Pokeball the whole time. Yeah. yeah. No, he's, he's, been in, he's been in his Pokeball the whole time. Why would, no, tell you why would he be scared, scared <laughs> Dave? Why would he be scared? We've, we've already established. Because we've just threatened just, to kidnap him. No, we're not kidnapping him. To a it's ball. not, not kidnapping him. Not as a criminal activity. More no, as a, a friendly crime. They make it... 
It's we said we'd give him food. It's friendly crime. They make whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> That's what I assumed that we were doing. Okay, now now you're just going to a dark place. This is very different. Birdman yeah, has a new meaning. Yeah. Now he's no, now he's not going to join our production company because he you brought up that. Oh, All right, look, they made your intention. They made it no. pretty clear in kind of every Pokemon game. What kind of there were no lines to read between. Pokemon, put him in the Pokeball, and it's immediately like it's a sexual it's thing. It's consensual as soon as they get in the Pokeball. So like. Well, that's what I got from the cartoon. Yeah, they, they don't <laughs> accept it at first, and then they just you know, lean back, and I'm like, okay, I'm good with this. <laughs> that's how that works. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to something else, because that guy... I don't know. I think, we're, <laughs> I think we're getting somewhere. I, I, I think... <laughs> what was I'm left? figuring out the real world issues. What's left yeah. on the notes? Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I've got Luke Cage, but I don't know how... What you all think? Because I know I'm, I think I'm the only one that's finished it. Yeah. Two episodes in. So what do you one. Eight or nine episodes in. So let's get... I guess yeah, first first episode impressions. I liked it a lot. Okay, Dave. Yeah. First episode, I, I wasn't as impressed. I like it more as it's gone on. Um, yeah, it has more of a slow build to it. Um, yeah, definitely. And then so, something uh, concerning, but not <laughs> not totally surprising happens later. That it, that's about the point where I'm at. Where I'm like, I think I know what you're talking about. They should have done that. Yeah, but we'll see. And I. Yeah, again, it's not totally a surprise. Cause mm-hmm. You can kind of see it coming, but maybe not in that way. Yeah. Well, they kill Han Solo? They kill Han Solo. I'm out. <laughs> yes, Han Solo was in Luke Cage. Yep. Just to die again. But here's the important question. Is it racist? Luke Cage? Because apparently that's what people are saying. Luke Cage is racist? Yeah, because it has... A- all black cast. Shaft Cage. Even though that's not even true, but... I'm gonna say no. Takes place yeah. in Harlem. Yeah. I'm, I'm it's gonna, idiotic. I'm gonna it's say not. it's not racist. Also, Luke Cage... But that's what people are saying, because people are dumb. I will say it's black as fuck in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, people. <laughs> All right, let's not talk about Luke Cage. Anyway, I the uh, first episode was pretty good. Yeah. A little bit of a slow burn, like yeah. the gents were saying, but... Yeah, I, I mean, the first episode was kind of a slow burn. By the end of it, I'm like, okay, I want to see more. But it, yeah, yeah, it's not... And then, what episode do you come away from saying, hey, this was terrible, I'm yeah. going to not watch it for a while? <laughs> yeah. It's probably, I guess, I haven't watched it, obviously, mm. besides the first episode, but yeah. you'd probably say it's trending towards the weaker Netflix Marvel shows. Yeah, yeah but that's, maybe. It's in... So far... It's, it's in such high regard with other shows. Mm-hmm. I mean, those shows are high regard, yeah. so it's... It's kind of hard to compete with the it's likes better than of them. Of Shield. Yeah. As a whole, yeah. I don't know. It's than so I mean, like the Netflix oh, original. Yeah. Yeah. Season yeah. Two. yeah. But uh, which was a letdown. I disagree. The more I think about my, it, my my biggest complaint with these letdown? with these Netflix shows is some of them just need to be ten episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I get kind of. I think that would have helped Daredevil little, season two. Yeah, I know it would know. have because thirteen's still not a lot, but yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Think about extra, it. That's yeah. three extra much. hours of filler that yeah. sometimes doesn't need to be necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Even the Flash, I think, could be, could be cut to like fifteen. Yeah, oh, yeah well, most definitely, or even ten. But it, but you know, know with the uh, the Netflix thirteen episode rule, yeah. kind of. But that only seems to apply to certain shows yeah. at the same time. Yeah. yeah, like I think it depends on the character because, like, I think Daredevil lends himself more to. More episodes, just because there's more. Daredevil, I'm okay with 13 now. Yeah. Season two, you can debate. That, yeah, but, but like overall, season one, I think was fine. Yeah, it was. But like season Daredevil, there's great. yes. Daredevil's had ongoing series for decades, whereas like characters like Luke Cage, he's had like a few, yeah. like ongoing series, and they get canceled or you know they stop. You know they do put him in like a team up with Iron Fist, um, so like he doesn't have as as vast of like a. a Background for like villains and story arcs and stuff like that to work with. I and even getting, Jessica, and Jessica Jones is only. Too. I'd be yeah. okay with Luke Cage only universe. having really one season to himself and then just being a supporting character yep. throughout. Yeah, but that's, that's probably racist to say that. So I don't know. To some people, I'm sure no, I'm not one of them. But just with these, we're talking about with a these shows, not a real human being. Yeah. With these shows just do ten and quit. Yeah. Let them move on to the next yeah. Defenders or whatever. Well, yeah, make each... each it did kind of seem like each season, season 2 was leading more into Defenders than... Yeah. Yeah. Season. Which, I, each, I get that. Because it was, it was basically like Iron Man 2 was more or less a setup for Avengers yeah. than yeah. Iron Man. I'm willing to say... I that it had to happen to Daredevil. I'm willing to say Daredevil yeah. Season 2 is the Iron Man 2 of the Netflix movies, and I don't hate Iron Man 2, so there you go. Yeah, I would agree with that. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I finished Luke Cage. Um, I, I, I really like it, but um, I would say as I do prefer the other shows a little bit more. But mostly just because um, the first... Probably about the first half, I think, is really solid. Uh, mostly because I really do like uh, Mahershala Ali as yeah, uh, Cottonmouth. Um, another great villain. But then they bring in uh, Diamondback. Um, Who is which, mentioned really up for after yeah. that point. And yeah. I, it's not that he's terrible. Theo Ross, he's all shady. And yeah. Sometimes he tries too hard, but I think yeah. he got better as a moment. Um, but like Diamondback, I think it, I would have liked it more if he was maybe only in like a couple episodes... And it's kind of like the setup for like Luke Cage season two, um, but he's in he, he takes more of a prominent role like yeah, towards I think the end. More setting up for defenders now. Yeah, rather and than so season two. And Plus, I don't know if they with Punisher and then who knows where they're going to go next. Luke What's King, next? Iron know. Fist. Yeah, Iron Fist comes out in March, and then Def- Defenders will probably be. Well, there's already been a little teaser. Do you season three? So. Do you all? Wish Whatever some of some season. of those characters were just going to be in the defenders and not have their own season first. Um, I think I know Iron it's kind of hard to judge. I, I think no, Iron Fist. I like that much like with their movies, Marvel's slang the groundwork. For yeah, this I would lean towards that as well, but still make it ten episodes. But I do yeah, really. Yeah, they could, they could be shorter. I do really hope that they use um, some of Ed Brubaker and Matt Fraction's run on the Iron Fist for the show because that was a really good run. Uh, and Bru- Brubaker style is very Netflixy. Yeah, yeah. So and and again, like it's the the format of um, like the Ed, Ed Brubaker Matt Fraction run is I think perfect for Netflix. Yeah. Um, because not going to work for ABC. Or no. Whatever. And the, I think the beauty with that run is because um, I think it's a part of the Marvel Now, like not the current Marvel Now. <laughs> it's Marvel well, Now, not Marvel Now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's kind of like it. It covered his backstory, like, it kind of be in flashbacks of, like, Iron Fist's backstory, how, why he does what he does, but it didn't, like, detract from the overall story. Um, kind of like how, um, I, I guess, like, the first few episodes of season one of Daredevil did, where basically you have those quick little flashbacks of, like, how he became blind, all that stuff, just as basic information. Yeah, you, you but it didn't have that. It, Yeah, it didn't dwell on it. It's not, and like, you this... even more about the villain. You're yeah. Um, and so, which I thought they did a little bit. In the yeah, page. but I like that it's they're taking a different approach. I mean, mm-hmm. I like that with Jessica Jones. Yeah, Purple Man yeah. wasn't developed the same way that yeah. this was. Oh yeah. Um, and so, and also like another thing that I liked about the uh, Marvel Now run is it actually added more to the Iron Fist uh, mythos. Um, like there are actually previous Iron Fist before Danny uh, Danny Rand, and so like there will also be like kind of flashbacks of like. Uh, an Iron Fist from like this era. But who from... is Danny Rand? It's a good question. He's Danny um, Rand. He, he's Daniel Rand. Yeah, that's his name. Oh, Daniel Rand. Yeah, oh, yeah. his birth certificate. Yeah. Damn. Daniel uh, is he even born in this country? Daniel J. No, I haven't seen his birth certificate. Yeah. Who knows? Um, so I think Maybe Donald Trump to make him release. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if they, I mean, I haven't, that's really the only Iron Fist that I've read. So I can't really say like, yeah. oh, that I, should be. Yeah, I haven't really read any solo stuff. Yeah. My so I'm kind of looking forward to the show to learn. Yeah. My understanding is he's like Iron Man, but just on his hands. Not at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I, I I know a little bit more about him. Yeah. Uh, uh, but even if they don't, I'm still all all in for it just because one, this will kind of like be a more magical character, so he'll be. Quite a bit different from like the previous characters we've seen, not just mm. in the Netflix shows, but also the movies. Or they portray uh, him as a little more regular Joe types. Yeah. Um, I could kind of see that. More street, yeah, mm-hmm. more street level. So I could see it being more of a. But the, how he comes to that, like he won't have all his powers and stuff. Yeah. Know how I, to use them. Or I, I could see that, but be I, more of a street level thing, and then but, kind of I, near the end. But Iron Fist, it, they would have to. Ch- I think they will That's have to kind of delve into the different. more they're mystical. They're not going to have the budget, obviously. No, no. It'll... Well, Iron, no, but like Iron Fist won't require like a huge like. I think they can still do it with like the Luke Cage Iron, you know, uh, Daredevil budget. Because um, even though he's got like he's probably the more meta human of the four characters. That's a DC term. Um, whatever. He's a miracle. <laughs> Mir- <Yes>. Miracle <laughs> enhanced, whatever you want to call him. Um, like he's probably the more Gifted. sure. <laughs> Of the the four, um, but um, a fox term. We don't youngster. Here. But I still don't think he'll require like a mat, like a significantly more budget, if anything, than you the need others. more budget. We we do. Oh, Feel free to sponsor us here at Pacey Productions. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to Iron Fist. Um, and then of course def- the Defenders. Like I love that teaser with Nirvana's uh, "Come As You Are." Yeah. That like that's all I needed. Just Nirvana. Because I will say I love Nirvana. I have the least, I guess, anticipation for Iron Fist out of all of these, but that's because just kind of I know the least about the character. But I'll I'll still watch it. Yeah. yeah. Just like with Luke Cage now. Yeah. You watch I'm, it, just yeah. Could be today. Could be three months. Yeah. But I don't think probably, too, probably, before, uh, probably before Game of Thrones. I'm aware of that. Um, but I do Will like. Uh, I'd like to announce to our audience that Jake has finally given up. Yeah. But uh, all hope is gone. Yep. Th- there was one thing that I did he's, really he's, like about Luke Cage. Asking you to watch is, it. Uh, asking me to get the DVD back. I do like how, you know, when like when Luke Cage is like fighting other people, like obviously not meta humans. <clears throat> um, it's a DC term. You would think that would get kind of old, just seeing him, like, slap around people. It doesn't. Like, I, I really like every scene where he just goes into a room and just starts smacking people around. I'm like, I That's I really the like this. thing I tired of was he, he constantly getting shot. That's, there's not much shock value in it past, like, when we saw Superman get shot way back when. I'd, I don't think it's like well, I, I guess, like, it's just like the reason if why you see a guy coming at you, well, I don't you're going to shoot that him. cool either if you... It Again, seems I like every episode, every other scene, he's just getting shot with... No, no, but like, I, I did notice the continuity era, episode two or three maybe, where he, you know, he's the guy in the hoodie for mm. half the show, and he gets shot up, as, you know, he's riddled with bullet holes, takes off the jacket, his shirt is perfectly fine, did he change shirts in between... I don't know, maybe he did. Yeah. But, uh, How do you know he didn't? I was like, I there's, there's, there's there you go. Why are you what? so concerned with the wardrobe? Yeah. yeah. Are you the Aren't wardrobe? Aren't you? I mean, I want, a, yeah, I, I want a career in the wardrobe. There's like uh, one of the reasons, I think one of the reasons why I liked Any it. way to get started. Why I liked it so much is, you know, usually like in uh, the the typical superhero fashion, aside from Superman, um, is the villain usually always kind of has like the upper hand until like the kind of third act of the issue or story or movie, whatever. And that's when the hero gets the leg up. Whereas like Luke Cage, I like the fact that like, the, has these, the yeah, they're they're shooting at him. They're just kind of like, oh god. And I also like the fact that Luke Cage doesn't want these powers, is even though he's it's so more an interesting thing. Much like with the Hulk, it's a hard, and even Superman, it's yeah. a harder story to tell. But, but I think it's, it's more compelling when yeah, he's kind of what, like, what odds can he yeah. really face? But, I guess but like everyone around him is kind of like, dude, you need to be a hero. You're so amazing. He's just kind of like. Get away from me! No, I, I want to sweep hair. Yeah, yeah. like I don't, he's like I, I just want to keep to myself. Um, I don't want the attention, which I kind of get. Like I feel like if you just woke, woke up with superpowers, I think it would be yeah, cool at first. Like a, well, I know, I sweep like, hair and talk about the Knicks. Yeah, like it would be cool at first, but I think after a while, it, especially if people did start to notice you, you'd kind of be like, "Look, I just want to do my thing. Leave me alone." Well, as he said, being hood famous is bad enough. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's one thing that I like, though, is. Um, it like the bad guys are so helpless, and so I think that's that actually in a way makes um, some of the characters kind of more compelling because you know that's the whole thing with Cottonmouth is he wants to kill Luke Cage, but he's like, I I don't know how to do this, but he keeps sending people. He's like, just keep shooting them, I guess. Um, so I really like that whole the the foil between Cottonmouth and Luke Cage. Yeah, um, yeah. it's a great actor and villain. Yeah. Um, so I, I really liked it, but yeah, it, it probably is my least favorite of the Netflix shows. Not to I do like how it, at least so far, each show does have its own identity. And yeah, yeah. Probably less than Jessica Jones, or, or as far as like the area that mm-hmm. they're in. But you know, it's def- you know you're in Marvel's Harlem. Yeah, yeah. You know you're oh, in yeah. Hell's Kitchen. But yeah, so um, you guys think uh, they'll ever lift the ban on F bomb? Uh, they're owned by Dis. Maybe one. I, yeah, I could see one show possibly. I could see change it, it to the uh, or similar to the PG thirteen rule. Yeah, kind of. At least DC kind of got away with theirs in Suicide Squad. It was in a song, but it's in there. Yeah, yeah. I still think it's so odd. The whole like rules and regulations. I think they're kind of broken to where like the f bomb is really? like the f bomb is like such a terrible thing. But like you can. Like I mean, there isn't you get one in a PG thirteen. Yeah. I know, but like it's two. Uh, oh, it yeah, two. Oh, cool. But like, um, there you know, there are moments in like Jessica Jones and Luke Cage where like it's very sexual. Like, there's no nudity or anything, but yeah. it's <laughs> like 
So Luke you're cool. Cage you're, got it's like you're cool with that. Yeah, yeah. but Luke like, pretty close. it's like, but God forbid they drop yeah. an f bomb. They're kind of like, no, 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 no. Yeah, you, you, yeah they can they can have sex. That's they're, cool. Just, they're literally just doing everything that they're allowed to. Like yeah. take because Marvel's or Disney's instructions were no f bombs, no nudity. And they've done everything but. Yeah, yeah they're pushing it. But yeah. it's still kind of like I, I kind of get like you know because again Disney or family business, but it's kind of like uh, yeah. The Netflix universe is marketed towards a different demographic. Um, I would not recommend watching this with your family. No. My family, because we don't yeah. give a shit, but, you know, yeah, you're, like you're, you're good old American the family. The Joneses. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought we were Canadian. Do, 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 do. So, but yeah, like, that, that, that's one of those things where, like, <laughs> I almost feel like if you're already at that point where you're pretty much getting away with everything, just let, them, let a few more things slide. Like, I'm not saying, like, just have, like, a whole bunch of... And that's how we get uh, chaos and ISIS. And no freedom? Yeah. You just keep letting little things slide. Yeah. Before you know it, you'll be allowed to marry your dog. Before you know it, Donald Trump is president oh, of the United not. States. Let's, <laughs> let's hope we don't get to that point. We're almost there. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so that's what that's move what on. happens when you let little things slide. So that's what we'll move on to, unless we have anything else, we'll move on to what we experience and what we're going to experience. We still do that? Yeah. yeah. You haven't been here for a while. I've been filling in for you. Yeah, I feel like I haven't been here in a while. I've been yeah. changing up those voices. Yeah. It gets confusing. Yeah. Don't know who I'm talking to. So who wants to start us off? What the... I listened to an album recently. Yeah. It's sort of new. It came out this year. Zach Wilde, Book Shadows hmm. 2. That's- this anticipated album from because yep. nice, I really love volume pretty good one. Uh, volume one. It's right on par. You wouldn't you wouldn't know it's twenty year yeah. window between mm-hmm. releases because if you know anything about Zach Wilde, he got famous for being the Ozzy Osbourne mm-hmm. guitarist in the late eighties and nineties and to two thousands, and also had a solo mm-hmm. band that he does now, Black Label Society, which is you know hard rock, heavy metal. Yeah, but with the Book of Shadows, it's a lot different, bluesy, acoustic. It's it's just a good mixture of uh, something that he doesn't do all the time. But his his voice blends in really well. With, I think he also appeared on the Hunger Force. He did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he he's he was blown up. Even if you don't know yeah. his name, you he if you're yeah. if you're just an avid music person, you'll he you'll recognize like the big Walter, dude. You know, like me. Looks yeah, he looks like a Viking. So yeah. 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 But you know, it's a good listen. I don't know where exactly I'd rank it in terms of my top ten list for the year. But we'll it was a fun, yeah. fun listen. Nice, relaxing on my drive to and fro work. So, yeah. Book Shadows too. Got thing you're gonna experience. Gonna experience. Yeah, um, actually experienced it as well. So this is a two for one. The a local theater is showing some old horror films, hmm. and I yeah. uh, Friday I. Fridays at midnight, except as of tonight, they're not doing it. But yeah. four weeks. Last week they showed the original Friday the 13th, which was <laughs> awesome yeah. to see on the big screen. Yeah, I'd love to see that one. And they're showing Nightmare on Elm Street next Friday. I plan on going to, nice. and the week after is the original Halloween. <laughs> so I plan on nice. seeing those on the big screen for the first time. I might try to tag along. Yeah, I was going to let you guys know yeah. after the recording, but since we're here. Yeah. Invites open. Cool, cool, cool. This is what we do when we're not podcasting. We actually do hang out with each other. Yeah. We hate each other. Oh yeah. We do it well, for the podcast. It's well, you, you have to build. You have to build a little camaraderie. It's like it's yeah. like. You have to see us together. Yeah. You know yeah. how yeah. businesses like have host events and conferences. Yeah. This is like our mini little yeah. conference, yeah. so we can yeah. pretend like the we public know. has to think that we're actually friends. So yeah, yeah. when paparazzi catches us walking into the theater now it looks like we're having a good time yeah. it looks authentic when, we yeah. all go to separate movies yeah. after that yeah. yeah well even if it's the same movie we I'll don't be sit in the back no. yeah. we'll yeah. sit in the front middle side oh yeah even if it's completely packed we make people get up yeah, so yeah. yeah. have to sit together no. yeah. but there's four seats in a row there no that won't work anyway no, no. <laughs> anyway invites open yeah so I experienced uh, the Neon Demon it's a movie oh yeah the uh, uh, Wendy yeah. uh, famous it's out there. for yeah, famous for uh, Drive, obviously. Mm-hmm. Love Drive. With, uh, this is Tom great. Hardy. Yeah. Love Drive. Uh, Bronson was. Didn't see Bronson. I haven't seen it, but I've heard good Especially things. Especially if you it. know anything about I did the like actual it. Charles Bronson, not the actor. The mm-hmm. uh, I guess as they call him, Britain's most famous inmate. 
Uh, but I'm not here to talk about Bronson. I'm here to talk about the Neon Demon, which is definitely out there, as you yeah. said. I can't give the spoilers away, but... Yeah, uh, I guess it has horror elements. I guess I'd say it's more of a thriller. Yeah. What about Elle Fanning is uh, got... this young model? And... Mm-hmm. I mean, if, I don't know. The whole... F- Just the description sounds really weird, but yeah, you can't. Because it, it is overall, one of those big like, it's time a very spoilers. Shot movie. Yeah. It's like visually yes. very appealing. I loved all uh, that. You're very beautifully shot. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna say no. Not gonna say no homo either. No. <laughs> I need to do that today. But uh, yeah, I mean, the whole movie as a whole doesn't have a lot of substance. But you could kind of say that's the point because it's yeah. about the fashion industry. Maybe that was, maybe that wasn't what he was trying to do. When it's got that dread element, you're expecting something that happens, and then it happens. Like in Judge Dread. Yeah. With Sylvester. Yeah. No. uh, You've got Elfman and Christina Hendricks, for some reason, Keanu Reeves. He's in like two scenes. Hmm. He's the owner of the hotel. Yeah. She's dying at. But there is that, like the dread element where that thing happens. You're like, whoa. Yeah, and then it, something else happens. You're like, what? Even kind of and then the final thing yeah. that we can't say happens and you walk out of the theater or One of those things from your room sort of and you're like, what did I just watch? It was the plants all here, along. <laughs> it was all the dreams. Kind of like that. And that dream. guy with the hair was Bruce Willis the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that I was not expecting. <laughs> but, uh, Got an experience. Yeah, I, get it. I liked it overall. I wouldn't recommend it for everyone. No. Those are the kind of movies I recommend to myself, usually. You might like it. But, um... Back when I told you all about it four months ago or something, yeah. I would probably have picked you to like it the most. See, but it's still really weird I, and out there. Yeah. yeah. Would I watch it again? Maybe. I'd probably have to be in the right mood for it. Because mm-hmm. um, usually, yeah. usually I like the weird and out there movies. Like, yeah. The well, only, plus, we don't see a lot of those anymore. Yeah. Which is why I, I, I kind of dug it. Yeah. Refn, he's and I love his artist. vision, so... Yeah. yeah. What would you rate it? On a normal scale, normal Lord. scale. Oh, do we have to? So I don't want to. I don't want to do it. No, that's <laughs> okay. Then don't do it. We can say no, we won't. can we can anyway, say. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> we can say the Dave rating for that other thing we're gonna do. You can just do sane rating right now. Sane and rating. Then save the the good rating for the your other show. Yeah. Sane rating seven and a half. point five. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Fair. Anything you're gonna experience? You don't get those a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna experience. Uh, I'm sort of in the middle of experiencing it right now. It's a book. <laughs> what? Yeah, but what are those? Should preface that yeah, with words and not pictures. <laughs> There's a picture on the front. What? Like with bubbles? Back. No. Like a comic. No, it's just like you know the like stuff that's in the bubbles. Yeah, it's I always, just those I always go past white that. page. <laughs> what? What is this black magic? Black things? It's like three hundred of yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Never mind. It's like three hundred of just like blank Spartan? pages. Three hundred Spartans. Yeah, that's what you're it, reading. With so the black little things that are inside the bubbles on every single page. Right, this is completely going over my I, head. I think I get what you're saying. Is it basically like those Neanderthal cave paintings? It's Except similar. instead of paintings, yeah. it's like context like, you know of what's what you're going doing right on. Now saying words. Okay. What? But they're like written down. Yeah. Like so it, it's just like, like sound them out. Like okay. an audio book. Yeah, but you actually have to like do the work of saying them. <laughs> what was the title what? of that Nicholas Sparks book you're reading? I didn't catch it. Uh, it's not actually. It's not actually that one. Oh, you read. You, oh, about. yeah, you read all those already. Yeah, I've all de- devoured them. Hard, hard cover. <laughs> yeah, not always hard cover with him. But uh, anyway, it's a Jonathan Ames book, and I'm a big fan. I think it's the only one of his I haven't read it's called The Extra Man, which was his second novel. It's taken quite a while to write. Um, it's if you know anything about Jonathan Ames, it's weird. Pretty, yeah, pretty typical yeah. for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The premise is a, a teacher, uh, Lewis Ives, who actually inspired the name of Lewis Green, a character on Board to Death, mm-hmm. but uh, was a teacher at the Princeton Day School, something like that, in Princeton, um, and he shamefully has more or less asked to leave after he gets caught uh, trying on the gym teacher's bra. <laughs> so he moves to New York with, and, you know, he can't afford it, so he moves in with this weird old man. And this is all very so, Jonathan Ames. It's very Jonathan Ames, but, uh, you know, the, his, uh, I enjoy his style. Oh, yeah. It's, it's mm-hmm. humorous. It's, 
Yeah, I, I enjoy it, and I hope to finish it at some point. <laughs> All right. Both weird picks. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess going by the round table, you can all see that uh, brings it to me. <laughs> I Reverend re- Space Man. Yeah. No, I'm Dave. Not Dave. Dave. <laughs> yeah, he already went. Yeah. No, I'm Dave. But okay, uh, whatever. You're uh, the same person. That's my Dave yeah, impression. Like, yeah. Uh, I didn't care for it. That's my Dave impression. <laughs> all right. I recently finished the first season of Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans, which is the newest. Uh, Gun. Well, second newest. It's kind of weird. They do like two series a year. One that's for kids, and one that's more geared towards adults. They're both usually pretty good. Uh, this one came out last year. It's actually currently airing on Toonami. Because no, no, they've got, they've got Dragon Ball Z still again. around. Yeah, they've got uh, Gundam and Dragon Ball Z again. So Toonami's back. I hate they got Naruto, but it's a whole, it's a whole thing. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot. I watched it for free on the official Gundam Info YouTube channel. Hmm. All episodes are on there, uh, English subtitled. Um, it's brutal. It's gritty. It's like, fe- it's obviously futuristic, but it's got a bit of a steampunk feel to it. Even but does it have jazz? Maybe briefly. Um, it's not quite as brutal as Gundam Thunderbolt, but I'd say it. You know, it, it's a full series. It's, 25 episodes. It's a lot. Yeah. And uh, kind of interesting, well, like all the Gundams in this series, including in the uh, model kits, all have an inner frame. So they've all got interchangeable parts. It kind of comes into play in the show, too. Uh, there's no beam weapons, which is new. Like every Gundam series will have like laser swords mm-hmm. and, you know, laser guns of some type. All these are like physical melee weapons, some of them kind of based on medieval weaponry. Hmm. Like, you know, a mace, you know, a good old broadsword, a lance. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's brutal. I said that before. It's it's just, it's really good. I like but is it brutal? It's, uh... Emphasis brutality. It, it has some sense of a brutality to it. Huh. Vaguely. You know, ultra violence? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd recommend it. And... Mm-hmm. Um, especially t- to Gundam fans, kind of different take, but you know it's still traditional Gundam enough. Same, to keep same ballpark. It. Yeah, and uh, for what I'm gonna experience uh, today, I went to Lexington, Kentucky, flew all the way. Yeah, you know, from Canada. Canada. Not a choice, I would drive. Yeah, from it's Canada. Only a three hour flight. Yeah, and uh, checked out the hobby shop, and they've got this like almost three hundred dollar. Uh, Gundam model. I'm, 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 this is going to be an experience for me because it's going to take a week to build. And I saw, and I, they, I asked them. They said they've got layaway. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to do that, and that it'll it will take it'll be a good week. Uh, you won't hear from me. And uh, well, we can check out the progress on your Instagram. Right? You can at Reverend Spaceman. I've noticed. That. If I mean people might Tasty Pill Dave. Yeah, pe- people might think I'm dead. I'm but, on that. Yeah. Oh, you actually made one? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go follow him. He'll maybe start posting stuff. I'm, yeah. I don't even have a picture. Or yeah. Whatever it is you do on Instagram. Yeah. You 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 post pictures of your food. Okay. And then and do a bunch of crazy hashtags. It's yeah. Sounds kind of dumb, but whatever. Yeah. Well, that's how you. Kind of is, but I like it better than Told Twitter you. and Facebook. Yeah. I, yeah. It's which are also kind of dumb. Yeah. Told you. That's fair. The Instagram's kind of the best one, and I I get a decent amount of likes on my Gundam shit. So yeah. Yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm, yeah. I really think at this point I'm just followed by a bunch of bots. It happens. You're the most awesome one in here. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm. I've decided there were two that was kind of lean betweens. I'm gonna go with the perfect grade, unicorn banshee Norn. That is, <laughs> Obviously. That, yeah. That it's a unicorn. Yeah. Can stab people it, with it those can. horns. Yeah. That's the name of the Gundam. And it's uh, it's it's. It's big. It's black. It's got some girth to it. Like Luke Cage. It's got it's veiny. <laughs> it kind of actually is. Um, it it kind of <laughs> actually looks like a just a giant like you know those penguins with the eyebrows. Emperor penguins. Yeah, like the one that Shia LaBeouf voiced in that movie that no one saw. All right. Yeah, those penguins with the big yellow eyebrows. It kind of looks like one of those. Okay. It's pretty cool. I had a different vision for what you were describing. <laughs> There is the short film where he showed his penis, but um, oh, and the long film where he showed his penis. Well, yeah. if you want to see Shia LaBeouf's penis, it's out there. Not on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna build that Gundam, and no one will hear from me for a week. It'll be it'll be great. All right. Check my Instagram for it. Uh, so I've experienced several things uh, lately, but I'll I'll just focus on one thing. What's your name? Um, <laughs> anyways, um, so I guess the thing. Tell. The thing that I'll we're classier. Than see yeah. if I can get it out of them. The thing uh, I will mention uh, that I experienced is uh, an Akira Kurosawa film on Netflix called uh, Kage Musha. Um, I thought I was a weeb. We were talking about Gundam. So, well, like, uh, Go ahead. So Akira Kur- uh, Kurosawa is... This <laughs> segment. Uh, the, one of our more diverse... Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's regarded as like, one of the best filmmakers. Um, an influence like you know Francis yeah. Ford Coppola, George Lucas... Um, and actually, uh, Kage Musha, uh, George Lucas' Francis Ford Coppola actually helped produce um, because the uh, studio in Japan, for whatever reason, couldn't get the funding to di- uh, distribute it uh, internationally. And since um, George Lucas and Coppola were such big fans, they convinced Fox. They're kind of like, "Hey, you need to like help distribute this movie fin- um, internationally." So basically. In the credits, it's like, also thanks to George Lucas and Francis Ford Coppola for... So, yeah. Um, so, basically, uh, Kage Musha is, um, I think, one of his later films. It came out in 1980. And uh, the one on Netflix, which is how I watched it, is... It's a lengthy film. It's about, like, two, 30, two minutes and 38 minutes. Or two hours and 38 minutes. Um, apparently... <laughs> and then there's the 38 minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the credits. Um, so, basically... Uh, but apparently, it, when it came out in the U.S., it was actually... Uh, there's actually um, about 20 minutes cut from it. Um, but anyway, so the uh, one on Netflix, and I guess the American release, um, it's a lengthy movie, but it's really well done. It's not a movie I'd recommend to everybody, because um, it is kind of like a slow, slower movie. But basically, it, it, uh, it's about... Um, I think it takes place in like the 1500s, um, like kind of during still around that kind of feudal era where like there's a civil state of unrest in Japan and it basically focuses on uh, there's like three different uh, like warlords who are trying to claim control over Japan one of which is kind of like the probably the top contender but um, there's a threat of him dying so basically what his general does who's also his his brother they uh, find uh, like this thief who looks exactly like the the, the king or the the war uh, the warlord and they're kind of like, hey, so if you die, we're going to pretend he's you for at least three years until, like, we finish this war. Because, obviously, if the enemies find out that he's dead, then they're kind of like, oh, cool, we can just mow right over his forces and take over. So, basically, the, uh, spoilers, uh, the, king, <laughs> the king dies. What? But it's and, only two minutes. Um, he does fairly soon, like, in the first five, ten minutes. Ninety seconds. Yeah. Um, and so, basically, um... The Kagemusha, which is basically a Japanese term, so I looked up a bit of information after I saw the movie. It basically yes. means, it basically means like um, kind of like a uh, political decoy. Um, and so, because I forget the name of the act, the character in the movie, um, so I'll just refer to him as the Kagemusha. But basically, he's kind of against the idea to begin with because he's just kind of like Makes sense. that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody. But like well, all the, do it. I mean, you're a dead. Depends on the person. situation. It's a hard. Scenario. Yeah, you're a dead so, ringer for Donald Trump. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> yeah. But, but basically, um, the, he, the we'll get assassinated. Oh, absolutely. Like all, all the generals are kind of like, hey, look, I get it. You don't want to do this, but this is for the the greater good of you know our clan and also for Japan. So eventually, he kind of eases into it, and um, it's actually like there are a few things that I wish they would have focused a little bit more on. Um, but overall, I uh, I really liked the character just because. Um, he starts to kind of, like, develop the relationship with, uh, like, the grandson of the uh, warlord. Because um, at first, like, when they, they're kind of like, hey, you have to meet, like, the mistress of the former warlord, his son, and some of his family members, and you have to, like, make them believe it's you. Um, so at first, like, some of them are kind of like, ah, there's something off about this guy. Um, but the relationship that he forms, in particular with the grandson, is actually really nice. Um... Because at first the grandson's kind of like, oh, you're not my grandfather, you're like someone else. And so they're kind of like, it's one of those moments where you're like, oh, he's... Oh, just sober. They, but um, he basically... All, all Asian people look alike, so this would be pretty easy to pull <laughs> off in real life. But, uh, that fan base. But anyway, it's like he... 
he finds a way to like kind of convince the grandson that he's his I was grandfather. For to say it, and I realized it wasn't one, so I just said uh, it. Yeah. Yeah. So then, after a while, like they kind of actually develop a nice relationship, and uh, some of the other like generals um, in the army like actually start to like him. So they're like, "Hey, you're actually doing a good job." I like you better. Um, yeah, he isn't just kind of like a political decoy. He actually is contributing to uh, like the battle strategies and stuff like that. Um, so it's a really good movie of just kind of a character study of this kind of outsider being brought into this uh, level of power. And you'd think that, like, you know, being... Because basically he was a thief who was about to get executed. Yeah. And you'd think being put in this pos uh, position of power, he would start to abuse it. And I actually, it's... Actually yeah. kind of used to it as a second chance. Yeah, but instead he actually uh, starts to actually embrace it and starts to become the former warlord. Um, and so it's actually really nice just kind of seeing his progression throughout the movie... Um, I so. assume it's the same actor who plays both. Yeah, yeah, it's the same actor. Um, but, uh, but yeah, really good movie. Um, so if you're a fan of like, uh, what's your rating? Um, I would say on a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give it probably about a seven. Um, I don't know if it's a movie that like I would go out of my way to rewatch, yeah. but it's definitely one of those movies where like it's really well done. If you're a fan of um, like just movies in general, and the art form, I'd definitely recommend it. I, hate um, I don't know how it would compare to like some of his other movies, like Seven Samurai, which is like apparently one of his best movies, because um, it's the only one that I've seen by him. But like, if this is one of his weaker movies, for example, then I would be ecstatic yeah. to see some of his others. Um, so, cool. yeah. yeah, really good movie. Um, and what I'm gonna experience is uh, Evergrey's new album, The Storm Within. Nice. Um, because I just got it in today, haven't got a chance to listen to it, so you'll, it will... you'll love it. That sound was the sound of Dave pulling out a gun and shooting Jordan in the face. Yeah, he was just yeah. so ecstatic. Yeah, yeah. Jordan. And, that that album was. and jealous of Jordan for being the best person. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so. it's just been an undercurrent the whole yeah. time. But... Yeah, um, it was bound to happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, that's the sound of him dying. Yep, Jordan's dead. Um, I think he's still dying. I think he's still got a few breaths left in him, <laughs> but. So I think this is something um, like I want to try and do more of is like watch older classic movies um, and maybe do reviews of them here on the channel if people yes are you mean like in that. that thing that me and Dave do yeah kind of like what you all do kind um, of but, but you do it yourself and yeah. like don't have you're not like being forced to do it I mean unless you all like want to watch I'll give the you movies, recommendations so okay but you mean like yeah we're just kind of anywhere movies we haven't seen. yeah like yeah delving into the history of movies yeah yeah, yeah. which yeah. actually I did. Watch a bunch of silent films. Actually, I, they're actually, actually was just about to say. Nice. Yeah, I did watch yeah. several Charlie Chaplin, and Buster Keaton movies. Mm. The other There's night. well, little, little shorts, I guess. I mean, you know, That's like kind of film, uh, like, it's pretty interesting. I, mean, I enjoyed uh, where it all started. It's yeah. not called the. It's in the lion's cage or something that Charlie Chaplin mm -hmm. did. I really liked uh, where he pretty much you know the, his famous character, the tramp. Pretty yeah. Much just, at a circus, he gets caught in the cage with the sleeping lion, mm -hmm. locks himself in, he can't get out, then he tries to go on the other side of, because there, I don't know, there's a door or something, and he goes to the other side, there's a tiger, mm -hmm. Oh my. back out. And, and Sounds like a loser. And the lion crazy. wakes, well, yeah, yeah, it's, good, it's, it's like watching yeah. human cartoons. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know Buster Keaton did all his own stunts, mm -hmm. uh, which I thought was really cool, and just his whole work ethic and the authenticity of it. Yeah. Uh, really cool. I'll probably delve more into that. Yeah. Um, there's actually a silent movie that's on... I think it's still on Netflix called uh, Metropolis. Yeah. It's apparently the first... It's regarded as the first science fiction movie um, that I might watch this weekend as well. I need Something, to check that out. I think I've yeah. seen it on there. I didn't watch mm -hmm. it. But I've heard of it. Yeah. And I know it's kind of been adapted like, into other times. Yeah. Because it's based on a book or something. I think so. Um, but yeah, that, that's yeah. probably another time I'll experience yeah. um, and maybe bring up in a podcaster right. review. Like that. I think that wraps up this podcast. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh yeah, you all have an announcement. Yeah, these yeah. guys have an announcement. Yeah, Jordan and Spaceman. Yeah. I'm mean, like oh, too excited. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we've been hired by another podcast. Yep, we're we're quitting. We're not pale enough anymore. We've been you know hitting the hitting, tan. I know you've been tanning. We've been tanning, living. hitting the gym. We're gonna join like a Guido podcast. <laughs> um, it's only a matter of time. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Just kidding. The re we're staying here with Pasty. Yeah, Pearl. we're not good enough yet for anything else yet. We can't be bought yet. <laughs> but on the Reverend Spaceman channel, starting next week, we're going to be doing a like toy collector focused kind of podcast. Hmm. 
The working title is uh, Spacement Dwellers Toy Stop. I like it. Hmm. Yeah. Because I, I kind of named Rap Spacement Dwellers earlier. Yeah. But, uh, because, yeah, we both collect toys. He, him, Jordan, mostly Star Wars. I'm mostly in the toy robot yeah. realm. That's what I'm excited about. We'll be able to yeah. reach Cover a, lot of uh, a big a lot audience of with that. And yeah. I have other little toy lines I collect, and I know all four of us have our share of pop figures, yeah. too. And just, we, we may have other pasties yeah, we'll have, show up. Yeah. Kind of just talk about yeah, for our yeah. recent toy hunts and yeah. what we're going to hunt and yeah. past histories, experiences. If fans want to recommend a toy or yeah. a line, product, something they want to review or talk, line. yeah, just experience yeah. history. Just kind of a little bit of everything, not really one specific yeah. thing, but we just think about we, toys and collectors and. Yeah. We're trying to expand with Pasty Pill this fall slash start of the new year. We've got some other things on the horizon. Yep. So, looking forward to it. New things to discover. Yeah. Yes. And also, uh, for those of you who don't know, Reverend Spaceman and Dave have a segment on Reverend Spaceman's channel as well called Out of the Loop. Where we watch movies we haven't seen before. The, the, I've enjoyed. Yeah, I've enjoyed listening to them, yeah. even though I've attended. I've yeah. enjoyed. Very, been there forever. Very non-biased I'm, opinion. I've enjoyed. It's awful. I've enjoyed your all's enjoyment of your films. Yeah. Thank you. I've it's genuinely, more than genuinely. It's really weird how many of these we've like both liked. We haven't even been doing that many of them. But, but yeah. done two but so, so far, far. So good. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> and but a I third mean, one coming up. Yeah. It's stay stay tuned on my channel for yeah. that, and then also for the. I'm the excited for all thing. these new little mini. Yeah, things yeah, we're doing yeah. and potential yeah. new shows and I figure potential new guests. Probably. So yeah, I figure ours could probably be like, our toy one could be like maybe every other week. Yeah, we every could, other week or yeah. month depends on talk about money and dry yeah, spells yeah. and the same. yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we'll see how it goes. Yep. If we can get more than ten views, we'll do them more often. Or yeah. we'll just keep doing it because we, we, we <laughs> which yeah. we will. I was just yeah. trying to say ten. Oh yeah. But obviously, you all don't, you know, if, if you all are still sticking, like, listening to this right now, go ahead and just subscribe to Reverend Spaceman's channel. If you haven't already. Yeah, I only got eight. not already subscribed to ours. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying very hard. <laughs> <laughs> but do it for us. But this will motivate you now. Yeah, that's right. you got other shows coming up yeah. that we can't discuss yet. Yeah. yeah. Motivation Monday. Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. It is now. It can be. I don't so. work this Monday, so we can we can get together and just watch that Shia LaBeouf clip of him motivating over and over until we're motivated. Did you want to say something on his penis again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that too. I don't remember if I work Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good time to end this. So, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy this. And and if you hate it, let us know too. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and Thanks. feel free to check us out on Facebook at Pacepail Productions for I news, updates, Facebook. all that stuff. Twitter, Pacepail Pro. Or follow me on Twitter at Irishman Jake, one word. And until next time, everyone, cheers.